Tanya and Terrell, as you mentioned, LaSalle Street is a vital economic corridor, but it has okay. suffered in recent years. This morning, the mayor unveiling her plan to revitalize it with some city subsidies. The reawakening of LaSalle Street post pandemic is taking a big step forward. In her last few weeks in office, the mayor announcing three finalists have been chosen to create more than 1,000 mixed income units in the Loop Corridor to address downtown vacancies and affordable housing. We will be the envy of the nation and people will once again come to Chicago as they have throughout these last four years and say, how did you do that? The three buildings chosen for conversion include 111 West Monroe Street. It would be converted to housing with a hotel on lower floors. 208 South LaSalle would build 280 units with a dog run, fitness center and tenant lounge. And 135 South LaSalle would turn some office floors into 430 residences. Providing those housing opportunities will be key in our mission to reimagine LaSalle Street as a mixed income mixed use commodity community as well as our mission to restore equity downtown representing nearly 320 affordable units and more than 550 million dollars in total investments the finalists were selected from nine developer responses to the city's invitation for proposals to repurpose a portion of LaSalle Street's 5 million square feet of vacant commercial space as mixed income housing Chicago is the only city in the country that has fashioned this conversion effort in such an equitable and innovative way. So I'm, I'm thrilled that we're leading. The 318 affordable housing units would be offered to tenants earning an average of 60% of the area median income or a little over $50,000 for a two-person household. That's 318 households that could not otherwise walk to work in the loop, 318 heads of household who could say yes to a job offer, who might otherwise have said no because the commute seemed impossible. The city planning to contribute millions of dollars in tax increment financing as potential subsidies, but the plans still need to be approved by the full city council. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.